Hi Tubies, here's Alexandra and today we have another unboxing video. In my mailbox today was a package from Mini Wargaming with uh, two boxes from the new Dark Potential game. One here, as you can see, the Xlantos and the second one is the Corporation faction. So let's uh, quickly grab a tiny little hobby knife as usual and open up this box. Okay, and there we have it. Just slice that open very carefully. So there we go. And ta-da! It's open. So let's have a look how this opens up. Actually, oh, it is still sealed, so we have to use the knife again. <clears throat> and let's have a look how it is packaged. So. Here we have uh, an open box with here are the first minis, and here the second batch of minis, and here we have all the bases. As you can see, the base design is like the bases from War Machine slash Hordes, and not the Warner Fantasy ones. So, as you can see, those are one-piece models, <coughs> and let's quickly have a look at them <coughs> a little bit closer. So, this is the first miniature we have here. This is a female. I don't know what this is supposed in the game, but it looks cool. has two <coughs> kind of machine pistols in the hand. So, <coughs> then we have two times, oh, comes win. the same guy with a kind of pump gun. Interesting miniatures with a backpack. Hmm? They're looking nice. And the last one from this package is this guy here with a machine gun. Also with a backpack. <coughs> so now let's open up pack number two. <coughs> so this is a two part miniature. We have here the heavy weapon that attaches here. Is somewhere there. The touch is very strange. Or is that? Yes, that is. <coughs> hmm. I have actually no idea. Normally, you would uh, guess. You would guess you uh, attach it here, and then uh, the arm would, uh, the hand would fit actually there. But the uh, connection point is here, I believe. But if I put it there, then the attach point there doesn't fit, <coughs> and he holds the thing quite strange. Well, I have to figure that out, how to... Or this is bent, that could be. But this must be somewhere there. 
Ah, there we go. You see? <clears throat> this way it, is, it attaches. So, be careful you don't break that at that point. <clears throat> so, also, I think you have to bend uh, this thing here, the attachment for the backpack. I have no idea where to attach it exactly. Somewhere here, I believe. Well, I will figure that out. So, uh, let's go ahead with our different miniature. This is uh, the sniper. He has something here at his leg. Is that supposed to be there? Uh. Ah, here, that is uh, the holding arm here, attached to his feet. You can break that off and then attach it there. But actually a very nice miniature. <clears throat> so, and this looks like the leader of the pack. With an interesting weapon. <clears throat> so, okay. That were the miniatures. Let's uh, quickly observe again the box. You can see that's the back. Flip it over. Here you can see the miniatures painted. A little bit of text. <coughs> you can see it's painted by Worthy Painting. <coughs> and here's the mini wargaming logo. Okay, that was the first section. Now let's go over to the Xlantos or Zalantos or I don't know how they're called. So let's quickly grab again the tiny little hobby knife and cut that open. sealed whoops uh, oh there the box is upside down and they are not in bags <coughs> so um, that is a minor minus point Let's see what we have here. So let's zoom in. That's the first miniature. Interesting design. A really alien race. <coughs> so here's number two. <coughs> A quite clean armor. Not many details, very organic look. Uh. So let's take two together here. Uh. They look absolutely the same. Uh. Yeah, you get at least three times this size. And then you have that guy here. He has a little bit different armor here on the back. <coughs> so the mold lines are minor. <coughs> Not something very bad. So this looks like the leader here with his little spikes. Also quite clean armor. <coughs> so. Oh no, I guess that's the leader. He has the spare head here, a little bit of loincloth. Bigger claws here down there. Very interesting miniature. And uh, obviously those are multi-part miniatures. <coughs> here you have some of the weapons. 
Very interesting stuff here. Like that, for example. <coughs> Looks like kind of a melee weapon. Here, also the same. Here we have some arms with also a interesting looking mini weapon <coughs> so also as you can see uh, this is uh, some kind of true scale miniatures not heroic scale like uh, one of fantasy or, of, or 40k or war machine all the weapons are quite small and tiny and fiddly But nevertheless, nice looking. So let's see here the last parts. <coughs> Some arms. And the last part here is the head from the leader. So at least we have a look at the box again. Here we have the front cover also painted by Worthy Painting. Oh, and here it is uh, in the right direction, so you can turn it this way and it is uh, the same. Interesting. So, uh, but this was uh, the first little closer look at the two starter boxes from the Zalantos and the cooperation from Dark Potential. I hope you liked this video and we see us in the next one. You're Alexandra.